Are you tired of feeling like a shadow of your former self? It's time to reclaim the joy, passion, and confidence that life's challenges have tried to steal from you. Discover how to find the real you again and step into the future with renewed hope and unstoppable determination. Open your heart and mind to receive this divine word today. And please help spread this message by liking this video, sharing it, and subscribing to Inspire Zone. Life has a way of shaping us, sometimes in ways we don't anticipate. At one point, you might have been full of energy, enthusiastic about your dreams, grateful for your family, and eager to see the best in others. Your work brought you joy and fulfillment, and you were optimistic and hopeful about the future. But then, life happens. Disappointments come, and bit by bit, you lose your joy. Mistakes are made, and you start doubting your worth. People let you down, and your passion wanes. Dreams fall apart, and confidence erodes. You might find yourself wondering, what happened to that person I used to be? A man confided in me recently, saying, I've lost myself. I used to be so passionate and caring. Now, I don't even recognize who I am. He had endured significant loss and setbacks, leaving him feeling like a shadow of his former self. But here's the truth. God didn't create you to start full of hope and end up defeated, insecure, and lonely. Life's challenges might try to alter who you are, but the essence of you, the joyful, passionate, confident you, is still there. You may feel lost, but the good news is that you can find yourself again. You can return to the person God made you to be. The real you, full of joy, passion, confidence, and victory, is still within you. One reason Jesus came was to recover what was lost, to restore what was stolen, to heal what was broken, and to give you beauty for ashes, joy for mourning. What you've lost can be restored. God is about to do something new in your life. He sees your struggles and promises to breathe new life into you, bringing new passion, opportunities, and vision. The best version of you is still ahead. However, there's something you need to do. You can't sit on the sidelines, feeling sorry for yourself, thinking you're washed up. Yes, you've made mistakes and people have wronged you, but as long as you have a defeated mentality, you'll remain stuck. You need to get back in the game. Stir up your faith, start believing again, dreaming again, hoping again. In the book of Genesis, Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden, living in a paradise. They were happy, confident, and secure, excited about each day. But then life happened. They disobeyed God, ate the forbidden fruit, and immediately felt guilt and shame. They realized they were naked, felt embarrassed, and hid from God. When God came to visit them, he asked, Adam, where are you? God knew where they were physically, he wanted Adam to reflect on his state of mind and heart. Where is the real you? He was essentially asking, where is the joyful, confident, valuable you that I created? God is asking us the same question today. Where are you? Where is the you before the disappointment, before the breakup, before the mistakes? Where is the passionate, kind, hopeful, generous you? That's who God made you to be. Often like Adam, we lose ourselves because of mistakes and disappointments. We look back and think, think, I used to be so passionate about life. I had big dreams and felt valuable and secure. I was outgoing and fun. What happened to me? You may feel that you've lost yourself, but God is ready to bring that person back. Nothing that has happened to you can take away the real you. When Adam heard God's voice, he was afraid and hid. How many of us are hiding because of what we've been through? Hiding our potential, personality, and smile? You have so much to offer, but many handle hurt, failure, and disappointment by isolating, disengaging, and shutting down emotionally. They show up physically, but have checked out emotionally. The pressure, hurts, and mistakes lead to a defense mode where they don't participate, answer the phone, interact with friends, or share their feelings. The enemy wants you to live disengaged, unplugged, and hiding your gifts, creativity, and feelings. God is asking, where are you? I created you to bloom, to shine, 
to enjoy life, to be a blessing, to love, to laugh, to accomplish. But this will never happen if you're hiding behind mistakes, hurts, and injustices. God can't heal what's hidden. He's asking you to come out, to get back engaged, but he won't force you. You have to choose to come out of isolation, fear, shame, and regrets and get back in the game. The joy, talent, favor, confidence, and creativity you lost are looking for you right now. You need to do your part, get your fire back, start taking risks. Yes, it's easier to stay in hiding, but you'll never experience the joy, love, favor, and victory that make life so rewarding if you do. The enemy doesn't want you engaged, motivated, and passionate. He loves to see you numb, never showing the world who God made you to be. Don't fall into that trap. You may get knocked down, but don't stay down. That disappointment is not final. Get back up again. You made a mistake. Don't beat yourself up for years. Ask for forgiveness and move forward. God doesn't remember your mistakes. Why should you? Forces are trying to keep you unplugged so you don't fulfill your purpose. Your dream didn't work out. That means God has something better coming. Maybe people have hurt you, put you at a disadvantage. Thoughts may convince you that you're lacking, not good enough. If you were more attractive, had a better personality, more talent, this wouldn't have happened. It's easy to go into hiding, feeling insecure and undervalued, but don't believe those lies. You are made in the image of Almighty God. People can't make you feel inferior unless you give them permission. They don't determine your worth. Now stop giving them permission. When I was in junior high, I was very outgoing and confident. But in high school, my friends grew taller, and I didn't. I went into my freshman year at 4'9", and people called me Peanut. Those thoughts of inadequacy crept in, and I became more reserved. I tried out for the baseball team, but the coach told me I was too small to play at that level. For years, I let that affect my self-image and confidence. I handled it by hiding, becoming more reserved and unsure of myself. But I could hear God whispering, Where are you? Where is the person I created, strong, confident, fun, and outgoing? I had to decide to come out of hiding, not worrying about what others thought. If I hadn't, I wouldn't be here today. Is there an area where you need to come out of hiding? Have you let what didn't work out, what someone said, or how you were raised cause you to shrink back? When Adam made his mistake, he tried to hide, but God came looking for him. God never gives up on us. Even when we hide, he keeps coming after us, saying, where are you? I miss you. I need you. I can restore you. Perhaps you've let a disappointment or mistake cause you to hide your personality, smile, or passion. You used to have big dreams, fight for your family, and be passionate about your walk with God. But now you're disengaged thinking it's not worth it. God is looking for you, not the partial you, but the whole you. Where is the confident, outgoing, talented you? The you before the coach said you were too small? The you before the disappointment? That's who God's looking for. Today, that part of you that you lost is coming back. God is restoring dreams, passion, confidence, value, vision, creativity, goals, and joy. This is a new day. The full you is coming back. Adam told God he was hiding because he was naked, ashamed, and embarrassed. God asked, who told you you were naked? He wasn't asking for information. He wanted Adam to recognize where that thought came from, the enemy deceiving him. The enemy still tries to deceive us today with lies about our worth and potential. If you have negative, discouraging thoughts, they're not from God. Don't give them the time of day. Let them go in one ear and out the other. When I didn't make the baseball team, that coach was just doing his job, judging by the physical. But people don't determine our value. I could hear God saying, who told you you're too small? I created you in my own image. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. I call you a masterpiece. You need to listen to what God says about you, not the negative chatter. You may have made poor choices and gotten off course. Who told you that mistake stopped your purpose? 
Who told you you're washed up? That's the accuser trying to keep you in hiding, feeling guilty and unworthy. Don't believe those lies. God's mercy is bigger than any mistake. He's already accounted for every failure and wrong turn. His calling on your life is irrevocable. What he started, he will finish. But you have to do your part. Come out of hiding, shame, and guilt, and get back in the game. We need you. Your family needs you fully engaged. Your children need you healthy and whole. Your friends need you, not the partial you, but the full you. Maybe you went through a breakup or divorce. Who told you you'll never be happy again? Who told you that disappointment has ruined your future? The enemy wouldn't be telling you that if God didn't have something amazing in your future. He wants you to go around discouraged and disengaged so you miss the joy, favor, love, and victory that belong to you. It's time to come out of hiding. Quit hiding your gifts, smile, and passion. Quit allowing what happened to you to cause you to shrink back. You've heard God saying, where are you? I need you. There is greatness in you. Get in agreement with God and say, yes, I'm coming out of hiding. I'm letting go of guilt, shame, and disappointment. I'm dropping the offense, hurt, and bad break. I'm not going to hide anymore. I'm getting my passion back, my dreams back, my joy back, my vision back. When you come out of hiding, the best version of you will show up. The you God created you to be. You will rise higher, accomplish dreams, and become everything God intended you to be. If you found today's message helpful, please like this video, share it with someone who may need encouragement, and subscribe to Inspire Zone for more uplifting content. Together, let's journey towards a life of peace, purpose, and victory. Thank you for joining me. God bless you abundantly.